Welcome to Your Sport Swindon. I'm here with Swindon boxer Danny Barge and his trainer Islan LTF. Nice. How are you doing guys, alright? Yeah, not too bad. I just start by saying happy birthday to Islan. Islan, it's your birthday. birthday. Yeah. How old are you, Islan? 49. 49. Doing anything special tonight? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Best yes. birthday cake. Training for best for me best friend today. Four rounds for birthday yeah, present. Yeah, four rounds for birthday. <laughs> Islam, um, talk to us about how Dan is doing. He's, he's back in training camp yeah. after his, his debut fight in February. How's he doing? Yeah, it's good. He's going really well now. He's serious, you know, proper discipline. More dis discipline than he used to be before. Uh, more, you know, more hard training in the moment. Twice a day. <coughs> he's going all right now. How did you assess his last fight? Yeah, last fight, yeah, done well, but uh, you know, that fight, that fight, the first fight, he lost too much weight, I don't know, energy left. So he don't, you know, for that, he lost 10 kilos, like a free stone, it's too much. Now his weight, okay, no problem, only one, two, two pounds, you need to lose, that's it. So he's, he's kind of made the adjustment to being a professional, and it's just taking a bit of time to get the diet right. Yeah, diet is okay now, it's no problem, if diet is okay. Weight is quality, if he should be, that's it. He will have, no, 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 now he will have, I think, will be different. Yeah. Come to you, Danny. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Um, just done four rounds today, as you've seen. Um, felt good, feeling sharp. I uh, didn't train as long. The, the first fight, obviously, is my first fight back in three years, so it was, it was a long training camp, so I had a bit of time off after that one. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling good. I've been training for about four or five weeks now. And um, yeah, just just started picking it up, um, picking up the rounds and sparring, and yeah, just starting to feel sharp. Just then um, get ready for uh, 27th of June. Yeah, let's go back to your debut again. Um, I mean, it's kind of a, a fight of two halves almost, wasn't it? You started yeah. really well, and then you know, last round it was it was almost yeah. hanging in there, wasn't Fifth it? Round, yeah, yeah. Um, it was, obviously, it was my first fight in a while. Um, that's why I've, st I've stopped using. Um, I should use head guards and sparring, but you need to get used to um, taking the punches as well. We use big 14 ounce gloves in sparring, and uh, and we've got head guards on. So um, for the first four rounds, he didn't even catch me with one shot. I don't think. So the fifth one, it weren't really really like I, uh, he caught me, kind of kind of shot me, the shot, and then he just kind of started ploughing forward. We knew it not said to me at the end of the fourth round that he's gonna come. Yeah, he's, totally. Be careful, he's gonna come. <laughs> so um, yeah, he come in the fifth round. He tried it, but um, I just used my footwork and my skill and uh, just got the job done. Lost. Uh, I think I. One five rounds and that, I think that was the only round I lost. So, yeah, yeah it's not so. bad for a debut first one in three years. Yeah, yeah like, I think I could have done a lot better. I weren't overly pleased with performance, but I um, moved up a weight this time as well. Yeah. So um, that's going to be a big factor in this fight. Sure. What do you think that'll give you moving up a weight? Um, I just think last time, when I'm boxing so long, like my last fight was at 60 kilos, and I, I won the ABAs at 60 kilos. Um, the first time I won the ABA I was like 17. So I was the same weight as now as I was when I was 17, and um, obviously I didn't know what weight I'd be comfortable at going into the going into the fight. So obviously Dean was uh, the guy who boxed. He was um, about 135 pounds. So um, yeah, I had to make the weight, and I was worried about making the weight. It's just a lot of pressure really for the first one. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm a lot more relaxed about this one. Um, I was 135 pounds for that last one. For this one, I could be 145. So 10 pounds difference. I think it's gonna make a big difference in. My power and energy, everything, yeah. Yeah, and you're facing uh, Matt C, right? You know, what, what do you know about him and what, what do you think he's going to bring? Uh, I know he's uh, really experienced. He's had about 100 odd fights. Um, he's been in some good, good, good fighters, uh, a couple from the gym as well. Um, yeah, he's a bit scrappy. He's going to make it a rough and tough fight, but just use our skills, use our boxing and hopefully get the job done. It's going to be hard for you to look good against him, isn't it? I think that's what people have told you. Yeah, every, that's what everyone said. It's, um, a lot of people I've spoke to that are boxing as well, so he's really frustrated and um, scrappy. And he is hard to look good against, yeah, but um, I just go in there and just do what I, do what I usually do. We've got we've had some good sparring, sparring um, some top guys. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go in there and just do my best and hopefully get the job done. And boxing is swimming again, it's obviously your hometown. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely good to box in Swindon. My first one, obviously, was in Swindon. Uh, it'd be nice to get away as well, though. It's, it's a lot of pressure fighting in Swindon. Obviously, I love it, though. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to fighting in Swindon. Looking forward to um, getting out there as well, though, boxing away from home. Excellent. How, how are you finding life <coughs> as a professional? Because it's not an easy life. It's, people just see you doing yeah. the business in the ring. There's a lot of work that goes in every single yeah, day. Yeah, definitely. It's a lot different to the amateurs. Um, 
because of the pros, you, you can get hurt as well. Even in sparring, everything you have to be 100% for sparring, even as well. Cause I, in a lot of my spars, I get hurt more in the spars than I do in the fight. Obviously, that's why they say train hard, fight easy. The, the spars are harder than the fights. It's um, yeah, it takes a lot of discipline, um, dieting, and training every day. It takes a lot of your time. So it's more of a lifestyle. You don't really get a break. So when when I do get the win, it just makes it all the much freer, and I can have a rest after. Yeah, sure. So Excellent. We'll come back to you, Islan, just to finish. Your thoughts on the fight coming up against Matt C. Right? Yeah, it's a shame. It's just a case of hundred percent. I'm not really worried about it, to be honest with you, but we have to be sharp in a way. But we expect with the ball everything. Expect the best. Yeah. Everything, man. But he's, a, tri he's a tricky opponent and he's yeah, an experienced he's, opponent. Yeah, he's experienced, but he's scrappy, he come forward. But, uh, that's the time we need him. Uh, to be honest, uh, that's that's who's come forward quite easy. That's yeah, people. It's super style, and then he come forward. Yeah, yeah. counterpunching. But you know, we, we expect everything. Every yeah. Every, we expect the best in it. So we have that's to be, you know, you can't pretend to be on in a way. In a fight, hundred percent. But we, now we're only eighty percent ready in the world. We will hundred percent after two thirty. Yeah. Have two weeks, five days left. We've <laughs> <laughs> got about two weeks, five days left. Excellent. Right, we'll wrap this interview up now before Danny plays up again. Um, best of luck on, on June the 27th. Cheers, Danny. 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 Che